Uh, we wanted to talk about uh, some of the test tools that are available for making temperature measurements. First, you see the uh, non-contact tools that uh, <clears throat> really excel in making uh, safe, fast, convenient measurements. If you're working on an energized electrical circuit or moving machinery, these turn out to be really good choices. Uh, distance may be an issue, and surface materials like uh, shiny metals are, are hard to measure. <clears throat> but they come in different sh shapes and sizes. Uh, this is a, uh, got a distance to spot size of 12 to 1, and uh, it'll measure up to 650 degrees Celsius. Uh, this, this model has a better distance to spot, spot ratio of 50 to 1. And of course, the thermal imagers uh, with, with much more sensor uh, density can measure uh, even further distances more accurately. On the other side of the equation are the contact temperature measurements. <clears throat> and we had, you have a, like a, a digital thermometer. And <clears throat> of course, we have to get in contact with the device we're measuring. Uh, so there is a quite a few different types of probes that you could use. These happen to be all K thermocouple types. This is a very basic bead thermocouple type you can use. Uh, very inexpensive, very fast, uh, used a lot, uh, very successfully. And then there's other kinds of probes for special purposes like a piercing probe, if you wanted to measure a temperature of a gel perhaps. Uh, a bead probe, a, a longer probe, an air probe, and an industrial surface probe. And then there's some specialty devices like pipe clamp probes. Um, they are uh, generally more accurate. They do require contact, and there's a, a wide variety of uh, different kinds of probe types that you might have to utilize to, to make your measurement. So that's kind of the, the, uh, the comparison of the non-contact versus the contact temperature measurement.